day, every night. We're going to have master classes. Dr. Mary Webster Moore is going to be handling that for us. And then every night at 730 is going to be awesome worship experiences right at Freedom Temple Church of God in Christ, 1459 West 74th Street. You don't want to miss one night. We're going to have Pastor Jay Thurston. Pastor Kenneth Harris, we're going to have Dr. Nanny Doris Rue, Bishop Jason Nelson, all the way from Baltimore, Maryland. And then on Friday night from Memphis, Tennessee, is going to be Bishop Linwood Dillard. On Saturday, it's going to be Sneaker Day. All the young people, the Puritans and the Sunshine Band, they're going to have a phenomenal day. And guess what? Bishop going to have on some Jordans. You want to be here? It's going to be a power-packed week. And on Sunday is our high holy day. The Lord is going to meet us in a tremendous way. You don't want to miss one night, one day. 1459 West 74th Street. I'm looking forward to seeing you there. We lose God. Your spirit on tonight. We lose God. The Holy Ghost on tonight. I speak deliverance. I speak healing, God. I speak feeling, God. Do it again, Jesus. Revive us again, Jesus. Have your way, God. Have your way, God. Have your way, God. Have your way, Jesus. Have your way, Lord. Touch my body, God. Start even here, God. Go through this place, God. From the choir stand back to the ushers, God, and the offices, God, and the kitchen, Lord God. We look for you, God, to transform us, to do, God, what you promised to do. Pouring out, God, your spirit, God, for it is the last days. Pour out your spirit, pour out your spirit. Start here, God. Start now, God. Start here, God. Start now, God. Start here, God. Start now, God. Gird us up, God, with the helmet of salvation. Gird us up, Jesus, with the breastplate of righteousness. Gird us up, God. Our Lord's word of our truth. Gird us up, God, with the preparation of the gospel, God. And we are not ashamed. We're not ashamed of what you're doing. We're not ashamed, God. I speak testimonies. I speak victory, God. I speak healing, God. I speak it done, God. We call it done, God. Go to that situation. Go to that business meeting and work it out, God. Anoint us, God. Refresh us, God. Renew us, God. And we'll give your name the glory. Clap your hands. Clap your hands and receive us. 
This is just the beginning. God's gonna do it for somebody on this week. I tell you, raise up your hands and give God the praise. If you believe that it's done, if you believe that it's done, if you believe that it's done, I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what you're going through, but God is here right now. 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 God is here. Meet the needs of the people, Lord God. I know we're not here for revival, but can we start off with a revival? Meet the needs of the people, Lord God. Meet the needs of the people, Lord God. Meet the needs of the people, Lord God. And we'll give your glory, God. We'll give your name the glory. We'll give your name the honor. So come on and clap your hands like you believe that it is done. song. Let his praise bring in the congregation of the saints. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and the harp. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praise be in, of God be in their mouth, in a two-edged sword in their hand, to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishment upon the people, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with feathers of iron, to execute upon them judgment written, this honor have all his saints. Praise you the Lord. I read for your hearing the 149th division of song, Say Man for IMC on this evening. You may be seated. Come on and put those hands together. This is our first night of the 103rd Holy Convocation of the Historic Northern Illinois Jurisdiction. Come on and put those hands together and bless the name of the Lord on tonight. As he already stated, I am your master of ceremony. Pastor Rashawn Pitts, will you help me sing this song? Living, he loved me. Dying. Come on, y'all. Buried, he carried my sins far away. Rising, he justified. Freed me forever. One day he's coming back. Glory. Oh, living, he loved me. Dying, he saved me. Buried, he carried my sins far away. Somebody playing a tambourine. Come on and make a joyful noise. I got another tambourine player. Hey, we here to have some church on tonight.
everybody standing. We are about to receive. Hey! Glory to God to the highest. One more time, we need power. All right. Oh, praise the Lord. Come on, you put your hands together and say amen for our bishop as he comes in. Into our 103rd holy convocation. Come on, Northern Illinois. Greet our bishop. Hallelujah. Power. Well, sound like y'all want to have church. Somebody shout power. Hey, hey, glory to God. I'm expected for the Lord to do something great on tonight. It gives me the greatest pleasure under the most capable hands of our jurisdictional minister of music, Pastor Naaman Williams. Let us receive the historic Northern Illinois Mass Choir. Come on and put those hands together as they make their entrance.
is in his place. If you're glad to be in the land of the living, give the Lord praise. Do me a favor before you take your seat. Go touch somebody you didn't ride here with and tell them I'm glad to see you.
tell your neighbor, neighbor, I don't know about you, but I cannot live without the Lord. Now come on and give God a praise like you believe what you just said. Come on and give him glory. Come on and give him glory. Come on and give him glory. Hey. Come on and give him glory. Hey, glory, glory. All right, hallelujah. Let's give this choir another hand. Giving honor to our jurisdictional brilliant of historic Northern Illinois, Bishop E. M. Walker. Come on and make some noise for our bishop. That's right, come on, make some noise for this great man of God and his entire cabinet to our state supervisor, Mother Dr. Ian Doris Rule, and your staff, God bless you, amen. To the first lady of this jurisdiction, come on and put those hands together for First Lady Solana Walker, amen. And I thank God for you, you, and even you. At this time, let us receive the NIJ Liturgical Dance Ministry. Dad told me, after a move like that, it's nothing else to do but to celebrate. Okay, I don't know who I'm talking to tonight. I said it's nothing left to do but to celebrate. I give you glory. I give you praise. Because my enemy I said we're about to seal it with a praise. See, I don't know if y'all ready, y'all. This is an SOS moment. I need a little room, little room right here. I give you glory. I give you praise. Cause my enemy Anybody ready to bless the Lord in here tonight? I said, is anybody ready to lose your mind? Cause the devil lost again. Everybody to jump with me like this, say, I give you glory, I give you praise, cause my enemy did not I need you to look back over your life, look back over last year, the fact that you're still standing is proof that the devil didn't win. Can I do it one more time? Y'all help me do it, come on. I give you glory.
pulsating under my feet. I need you to get your feet ready up in that building. Woo! My dance has crossed Where? Somebody just shout, I've got the victory. Now go ahead, somebody should act like it. Come on, come on, somebody should act like it. Hey, I know he's not the only one that's got the victory. Anybody else got the victory over there? Oh. Oh. Come on and give a vote. God in Christ. We are live on Facebook. Tell your neighbors, say neighbor, we are live on Facebook. Hallelujah. <laughs> hey, whatever you do, stop right now. All right, hey, I want you to stop what you're doing. I want you to like, and I want you to share, and I want you to comment right now. You can go to the 103rd Convocation Hub, Historic Northern Illinois Jurisdiction page. And it's important, if you would, for us to go to our page right now, like, share it, and comment. We are in the midst of a great time. Now back into the hands of the NIJ Jurisdictional Mass Choir. Come on and let's receive them at this time.
Can y'all put y'all hands together for Sister Stephanie? She may be a little nervous, but we've been ready to have some church. Do me a favor, point at your neighbor and say, he's been good to me.
The deaf angel had to pass over my house. You can't tell her. You can't tell it. You can't tell it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God's been good to me. God's been good to me. God's been good to me. God's been good. If you love the Lord, give him a wave off him. Choir, I need y'all to do me a favor. Everybody take one step forward. Everybody out there, get in the aisle. Y'all gonna get in the aisle. We're gonna move forward. Everybody take one step forward. Let's go. I need y'all to sing this little hook with me. I'm moving forward. I'm moving forward. You just say. I'm moving forward. I'm moving forward. I'm moving forward. I won't look back. I won't turn back. I'm moving forward. Everybody clap. time we will have special remarks by our state supervisor mother dr n doris rule let's say amen for her as she comes amen let's say praise the lord everybody praise the lord God is good, and he's good all the time. The song they just finished singing, God has been good to me. I don't know about you, but he has been good to me. I was sitting there thinking while they were singing, so many started out with us this year. Right among us has gone home, but we are yet here. We do honor our bishop on tonight, Bishop E.M. Walker, the voice, he is the voice for this jurisdiction. And to his cabinet, we do thank God for all of our women. And we miss our first lady, lady of this jurisdiction, Lady Silana Walker. And to each of you that is here on tonight, the Lord has been good to us. Here we are again. And do you not know this is the 103rd Holy Convocation? You can go anywhere in Northern Illinois and you won't find anybody that has 103 years. Isn't that a plus? Well, let's put our hands together for our jurisdiction. And do you not know? I have been with this jurisdiction more than half of the 100 in three years. Now, I'm not saying my age now. I think some of you may already know, but God has been good to me. I have not been here and there. We have worship here in Northern, and we have a great leader. Bishop Walker has a vision. Oh, yes. Saints, let's put our hands together for our leader. He's just as great as we make him. We thank God for him. He's been working on tyrantly to make this convocation what I believe is going to end up being. And we are enjoying the choir on tonight. Our state minister music. That young man can do a little bit of all of it. He can sing, he can preach, and then he can shout. <laughs> oh, all the time, his wife says. But we're just blessed to be here. I'm enjoying the services, and we want you to pray for us all week long. Pray for our strength. 
that all of us that are here tonight will be able to come back each night because we expect in the Lord to visit us. Somebody among us is very, very ill. And somebody is in need of a blessing, a special blessing. God got just what we need. And we want to be here to receive it when he comes. God bless you. We love you, Northern Illinois. We praise God for our state supervisor. Let's give her another hand. At this time, I would like to call out our jurisdictional minister of music. I have a question to ask him. Pastor Naaman Williams, where do you see the music department moving forward in this church? Good question. DJ Preacher, God bless you. I think that it's vital for us to understand and what I see in sensing the spirit is that the congregational song is on its way back. Y'all can clap for it. Y'all can clap for it. What has happened is, is we have had a, a movement of praise and worship. We've had a movement of warfare, but the congregational song is coming back. Go ahead, point at somebody down your row, say it's coming back. But it's coming back in a new way where all generations will be able to appreciate it. Somebody say all generations. This is a good question. I like this. One of the things that we have to understand in everybody's music department, because everyone has a music department, if you have a musician or not, is because if you have a voice, you have a music department. Now, have any voices here? Come on, make some noise. Okay, I want you to understand, we cannot even have a real sound check without your voice. There's a natural sound check, but then again, there's a spiritual sound check. And what is taking place is, is that we're passing the natural sound check, but we're missing the boat on the spiritual. Okay, I looked it down. I believe it was, they said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go. Half the battle is being excited about where you're going. There was no praise and worship in the Garden of Eden. There was no need for praise and worship in the, in the Garden of Eden because worship is obedience. Worship is not a face. Worship is not a slow song. Worship is not your favorite song. But worship is obedience. And half of obedience is being on time. How can we properly worship if we're waiting on you? <laughs> Bishop, I promise you I'm going to sit down. But watch this. We want the Lord to step in on time. But we won't show up. I got to go, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to show y'all what I mean by congregational songs. But let, let me ask you this personal question. This person ain't got to ask your name, but what if your next best blessing was predicated on your timeliness? That's why some of us are still waiting. <laughs> so, give you a prime example of congregational songs. The slow one. Y'all remember, there is no secret. What God can do. If y'all know that, help me. What he done. He'll do. See, a congregational song is simply a song that we can catch on. With his arms, what? He'll pardon you. your hands and say, bring the congregational song back. Can we bring them type of songs back? Can we bring them back? Can we bring them back? I need y'all help. If y'all stand up on your feet, we'll bring them back. 
Come on, we'll bring them back. Curtis, let's do it the new way. Come on, choir. Everybody clap their hands. Where my tamarind players at? Can y'all come down here? Pastors, I want y'all to take this home to y'all church. I need a few more tamarind players. Here we go. Yeah. The tamarind means something is getting ready to happen. When Miriam brought out the tamarind, she knew something was getting ready to happen. Now we're going to be one big old choir. Simple song goes like this. Come on, Kurt, bring me out. There is no secret what God can do. What he done for us, yeah. you do for you. Y'all got it. With his arms wide open, hey, come on, say, he'll pardon him. There is no secret. Here we go to a point. Y'all got it? I want it all over the room. The choir and everybody. I want the earth to sing it. Are you ready, Curtis? Let's go. Right. What? That's it. What he done? He'll do. This is my part. When it's on, he'll pardon. Oh, there's no secret. That is what a praiser is. This guy's starting to get it, bitches. One more time, Curtis. There he is, everybody. There he is, no. Come on, Lord. That's it. What he done? He'll do.
Jesus. Where my dancers are, y'all ready? Praise the Lord. 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 singing, but can you prophesy to your neighbor? I just want you to prophesy this to him. You're going to live to see it happen. Point at somebody and tell them to live. Don't worry about the diagnosis. Say, neighbor, live. You're going to live to see Bishop, State Supervisor Rue, and the well-addressed house. At this time, we want those of you that are not standing, rest on your feet if you can. We're presenting the jurisdiction of Preland, Northern Illinois, sick in secession, doing a magnificent job. Give them a good God bless you.
my, my, my. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, oh neighbor, say live, 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 live. what's going on with you right now. Get out of your seat and run to three people and just tell them, neighbor, live, 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 you better, let that guy, you better, hold on, you better, make up your mind. My enemy did not triumph. The devil tried it, but I'm still here. And after all I've been through, my testimony remains. I still have joy. And the joy of the Lord. Tonight, and I am saved and sanctified, baptized, and filled with the Holy Ghost and fire and love the Lord. And I love him for real. I mean, Jesus, every step of the way, welcome to the 103rd Holy Convocation, Northern Illinois. Come on, let's praise the Lord on tonight. Certainly on tonight, we thank God and honor administrative assistant, our chairman, Jamo. Administrative Assistant, God bless. Uh, Administrative Assistant Wright, Administrative Assistant Harris, God bless you. To these superintendents and pastors and elders that are here, and would you help me celebrate my friend and brother, Bishop Michael Thurston, that's here on tonight, visiting with us. God bless Bishop Michael Thurston. And uh, to man, Mother Rue, God bless her, looking good on tonight. And uh, thank God for her and to my own wife, Lady Walker, she was not feeling her best on tonight. And uh, I told her, I said, hey, if you don't feel good, you don't feel good. Stay in. We're going to be all right. Amen. You may be trying to get rid of yours, but I'm trying to keep mine. Amen. I happen to be in love. Amen. We certainly thank God for her and certainly to all of the wonderful women of the Lord and to the people of God on this 103rd Convocation. It's good to be here. Uh, we also received word from Elder Walls that Sister LaSylvia Walls uh, was not feeling well, had to be taken to the hospital. She's home, but uh, we thank God for that, and we want to lift her in prayer that God would touch her body. Amen. If you did not receive a program on tonight, that was on purpose. And so what you can do is if you're sitting next to someone who has a program or you can step in our lobby and on the back of the program, you can simply scan it on your phone and you will have the exact same program that everyone else has. I'm just going to bring the revelation to the front. It's called saving money. 
that's what it's called. Amen. So I don't even want you to think it's deep. There's no spiritual revelation there. Amen. We thought it would be a prudent thing for us, and we thank God for it. We're in the midst of a holy time. This is the holy convocation. Amen. We didn't come to hang out. We came to praise our holy God and to let him know how much we love him. It's going to be a tremendous time on this week. Tomorrow night, amen, uh, Pastor Administrative Assistant Harris will be preaching our communion message. We will be celebrating the holy communion, the Lord's body and his blood broken and shed for us on tomorrow night. On Wednesday, we'll be celebrating Women's Day all day. Amen. Mother Rule, I'm going to try to wear my white suit on uh, Wednesday night. I got it. I may as well try to do something with it. And uh, I, I told the church, I said, if you don't see me with it on, that was because before the pandemic, it fit. Y'all catch that later. Amen. So if, if you don't see me with it on, you just know, well, it didn't fit in. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, it got too big. I like that. And uh, certainly on Thursday night, we'll have guests in. Bishop Jason Nelson is going to be with us. Amen. From uh, Maryland, I believe that is. And then on uh, Friday night, Bishop Linwood Billet is going to be with us from Memphis. We're going to be celebrating with our young people and children on Saturday. And of course, Sunday will be the culmination of uh, this holy convocation. Well, we're going to be in church all week. Amen. Bishop Ford said, keep the saints busy. They won't get into so much. Amen. So I've never forgotten that. Uh, keep you busy. You'll be too tired to do anything else. And some of you are going to hold on this week because you was in church. Uh, so we thank God for you. <laughs> Amen. We're getting ready to receive the preach word of God on tonight. And I'm praying, and I'm going to ask that you would pray with him and get with him as uh, he ministers the word of God. We're going to be hearing from one of our new pastors, the pastor of the Freedom Fellowship Church of God in Christ, Pastor Jay Thurston. Amen. In just a few minutes, he's going to break under us the bread of life. Now, I, I would be remiss if I did not stop and say this. Dr. Williams, uh, Pastor Williams, you and this choir have been singing. Where is he at? Been singing me crazy tonight. I stood up, and every time I sat down, I said, well, I think I'll sit this number out. I couldn't sit it out because they had another one, and it was just as good as the other one. Can we celebrate Dr. Williams and this choir on tonight? Amen. The preacher is getting ready to come, and he's going to preach the Bible. Now, I am a Bible preacher. I don't have a lot of cliches and a lot of extra things that I give people. I just got this Bible. I figure if you can't get it out the word, these other books ain't going to fly either. And so when people preach the word, I get with them. I can say amen. I, I can throw my weight behind what they're preaching. On tonight, you're getting ready to hear a word from the Lord. The choir is going to come back and give us a sermonic selection, if you will. And after that, I'm going to ask that everyone would stand to their feet. And let's receive the preacher on tonight, the pastor of the Freedom Fellowship, Church of God in Christ, Pastor Jay Thurston. After the choir has sang, stand to your feet. Say amen for them.
you made a way. Can you lift your hands all over the building? Don't know why, but I'm grateful. Made a way. I don't know why, but I'm grateful. I'm not going to preach long. The Lord said tonight that you're made to be a major shift that's going to take place in your personal life. Rabbi Sarenda, your shots are going to go off. This was just so strategic in what he did in terms of the theme for you. The Lord said tonight phase and the next chapter for you. God says tonight there's about to be a major shift. Hear me. That's going to take place in your personal life. So I want you to get out of your mind everything that you left at home you to get out of your mind everything that the enemy has tried to continue to place in front of you to distract you from moving forward. And for the next 30 seconds, I promise you I am not going to be long. I have one point. And that's it. But for the next 30 seconds, I need you to tap in to this atmosphere. I need you to tap in and worship God for what he's about to do in your personal life. It's amazing when we come together because when I'm weak, the enemy has been trying me. I can pull on your anointing. I can look at my neighbor and pull from their strength, pull from their smile, pull from you being joyful because what God says he'll be strong. And so for the next 30 seconds, I need you to really worship God for what he's about to do in these next few moments. When I count to three, I need you to open your mouth and really worship and magnify the name of the Lord. One, two, three, go. I don't know why, but you did it. Made a way. I don't know why, but you did it. Roba bastiando yo shata ya baja made away. I don't know why, but you did it made away. I don't know why, but you did it. I don't know why, but I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. 
Bahaya. And we thank God for being here tonight. I am so honored and humbled by this opportunity. This is amazing to me. I thank God for my bishop, Bishop Edward Walker. Come on, put your hands together for our bishop. And to his entire cabinet, to Mother Rule and to her entire cabinet, and to my mother and my father, and to my children who are here, and to everyone. Sister, I see you because thank you for being here. But what's about to take place tonight it's literally about to set you up for the rest of your life. I want you really quickly before you take your seats. Turn with me to Philippians the third chapter. start at the 11th verse God just changed <laughs> my title and it says it reads if by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead not as though I had already attained either were already perfect but I follow after if that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus verse 13 says brethren I count not myself to have apprehended but this one thing I do Forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. Verse 14 says, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. I want you to look at somebody on the way to your seat for the first time tonight and tell them, say, neighbor, press. For the second time tonight, look at somebody and say, neighbor. Press. Now we're going to do this one more time. Look at your neighbor and say, Neighbor! Press! I got to stop because I feel it here. Forward movement. Forward movement, forward movement, forward movement, or moving forward is something that we all discuss and talk about on a consistent basis. Moving forward seems to be a trending topic on social media platforms and our friendship conversations. Everyone is ready for the next. Everybody's ready for better. Everyone is ready to move up to another level. Everyone is trying to attain something. Everyone is declaring and decreeing that I'm letting go of something for something better. But what I find interesting, Bishop, is that a lot of times we are speaking and declaring forward movement while psychologically staying in the same place. It amazes me that we didn't want to move forward, but we only want to move forward on our terms. Forward when we're ready in ourselves to move forward. 
God is trying to make us move. He's trying to prepare us for something bigger and something greater. But oftentimes, if we can't take what we are comfortable with, we would rather stay where we are. God is saying, you're declaring, you're declaring, you're decreeing, you're asking me, you're begging me, you're crying, you're praying in the middle of the night saying, God, I'm ready for something different. I'm tired of where I am. And God says, I'm waiting on you to declare that if I have to go by myself, I'm willing to go. Oh, uh, yeah. If I got to leave some friends behind, I'm willing to go. If I got to stay in this comfortable position, I know I can never move forward. Forward, but I'm ready to go. Somebody shout, I'm ready to go. Yes, but we've become so dependent on the things and the people and the seasonal things that change, that never changes on this level. It becomes difficult and we miss the moment for increase. We have a bad habit of becoming complacent when something or someone is working for us, when it's benefiting us, when we are complacent and comfortable with where we are and God is trying to get you out and take you to better but we are stuck in this rut because it feels good. It is pleasing to our flesh. We don't have to do as much work because we understand that moving forward to the next level requires us to get out of our comfort zone and be uncomfortable. Moving to the next level means I'm moving to the unknown. And anytime we move to something that we don't really understand what's going on, we revert back to old habits. The children of Israel, when they were delivered from Egypt, they, did, they, started, they started to complain. Why? They started to complain because uh, they said I don't understand what's going on. You left us uh, or you brought us out here to die. I was comfortable in Egypt because I knew what was going to happen from day to day. But how many of you know uh, that in this season God is requiring for you uh, to upload and download more faith so you can move forward. I dare somebody to shout in here. I'm ready to move forward ready to move forward. I'm ready to move forward. I'm sick of where I am. I, I, I know that there's more for me because uh, the reality is I feel good now uh, that I have a purpose uh, and anytime you've got a purpose, uh, your purpose tugs on you uh, and you become frustrated with where you are uh, because you know that this is not the end for me. Uh, you understand that I've got more on the inside uh, and although I'm stuck right here, uh, I know that there's more and so I'm frustrated with my life because I'm ready to move forward ready to move forward ready to move forward I'm ready for things to change I'm ready for things to change point number one and I'm almost finished for tonight but point number one God says that God will withhold access to the next level until you learn how to disconnect from the people the places and the things that were only meant to be seasonal in your life God says I can't trust you with the next level I can't trust you with with what I want to give you if you don't have enough faith enough to let go of what the things in the past represent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of us, uh, we are stuck in the past. Some of us uh, are still dealing with trauma from the past and we want to move forward. And God is saying, I'm ready to heal you. God is saying, I'm ready to deliver you. God is saying, I'm ready to set you free. But you want to be coddled from what happened. I'm ready to deliver you. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to set you free. I'm ready to restore. I'm ready to heal. But you won't jump and step out on faith. You you still stuck with where you are and God is saying in this dispensation I'm looking for some people who's ready to move forward I'm looking for some folks who's ready to press I'm looking for some both in spite of what it looks like in spite of how it feels I'm ready to move forward 
ready to move forward. I'm ready to move forward. I'm ready to move forward. I'm ready to move forward. Paul says it like this. He says, to the weak I became as weak, that I might gain the weak. I have become all things to all men, that by all means save some. In other words, in certain circles, some methods, in certain circles, some things might not be adequate. It is not to to lower the standard of holiness, but what he was trying to say is uh, that in this dispensation whatever I need to do to press uh, I've got to do it but when I step over here uh, I've got to leave what was right there uh, and I've got to move uh, to the next level. I wish I had uh, somebody who says I'm ready to move forward and so now we come to the text. We come to the text where Paul uh, was speaking and he says uh, that I'm not perfect. I don't have it all together. Uh, There's still some things that I'm working on on the inside of me. I told you I'm almost done. Uh, There's still some things that I have to work on uh, in myself, but I've got to press. Uh, It's difficult sometimes. It's hard uh, sometimes. It's rough uh, sometimes, but I still got to press. He was telling the people, I have not attained perfection. Uh, He was telling the people, I am not perfect by any means, Uh, but there's one thing that I've learned, Bishop, uh, is that even though uh, that I'm not perfect, I've still learn how to press. I've still learned I got to do to get to Jesus. I'm going to do. Why? Because I'm pressing. I'm pressing towards the mark. I've got an expected end. I've got something to do. I've got something to fulfill. And when the enemy comes in and tries to stop me, to deter me, to make me fall back, when my proclivity seems like it's trying to overtake me, I still got to press. I've got to press in the wind. I got to press up against the storm. I got to press up against the adversity. Why? Because I'm trying to move forward. And whatever's trying to stop me, I made up in my mind that nothing, nothing, nothing shall, nothing will deter me. Nothing will and nothing shall deter me. So Paul was trying Get us to understand that whatever it is that you're going through, whatever it is that you're dealing with, whatever it is that you have to confront, you've got to learn how to confront it. I know we're living in a passive generation where we don't want to confront the enemy. We would rather try to pacify him. I know, I understand we're living in a generation where we don't want to confront nothing. We want to hope that it's going to go away. But God says in this next season, you're going to have to fight for it. I feel the Holy Ghost. God says in this next season, you're going to have to press for it. God says in this next season, you're going to have to get some grit. God says in this next season, you're going to have to elevate your faith. God says in this next season, what I'm about to do for you, the enemy understands it, but the enemy don't see everything. The enemy can only feel something is about to happen to you. He don't know what's getting ready to happen, but he can feel something about to happen. He can feel the wind shifting. He can feel the atmosphere shifting. And he said, "Uh uh-uh, I can't let them get there. So what I will do is that I will throw a stumbling block in their way. Uh Uh-uh, I can't let them get there. So what I've got to do is i got to keep them distracted with all kind of social media blogs so that they won't focus on their purpose. Because if I get them to focus on something else other than their purpose, then they'll stop moving forward. The enemy so crafty, he don't understand what's happening. He looking at you, and he's seeing you making incremental changes in your life. And he's going, okay, I don't understand what's going on. I know they praying. I know they fasting. I know they seeking my face. And I don't quite know what's going on. But I know that something is about to happen in their life. I don't understand what's going on, but I feel the atmosphere around them is starting to shift. Somebody going to catch it in a minute. 
Bishop, I don't know what's happening, but uh, uh, they're growing. I don't understand what's happening, but one step in front of the other. They were right there yesterday, but now they're right here. I'm not. I'm. I'm confused. Uh, that 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 issue, that thing uh, that they had yesterday that I can get them with. Uh, they look at it and keep on stepping. I'm. I'm trying to understand uh, what's happening. I'm. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, and all of the while, you're moving forward. And so he says, uh, I don't know what's getting ready to happen, but I got to put something right there. Uh, and what the enemy does uh, is he creates illusions to make you feel uh, like you are losing when actuality uh, you are right at the cusp of your miracle. Uh, what he'll do uh, is he'll magnify your problem uh, to minimize what God is really doing in your life. Uh, you say, man, these bills is mounting up. Uh, but God says, look at the anointing that I've given you. Uh, oh, uh, I, I, my car just broke down. Uh, yeah, yeah, but look at the favor that I've blessed you with uh, and he'll maximize uh, all of the issues uh, to make you minimize what he's doing in your life uh, and then you stop moving because of the things that you are dealing with in your life but God says tonight I told you I'm not going to be long I'm almost done God says tonight there's about to be a major shift in your life. I said, okay, God, what do you want me to tell the people? He says, tonight, I'm releasing access. God says, tonight. Now, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't do this for play because I've been through too much. I've, I've, I've been through too much to play with this thing. This thing is serious. But God says, tell the people that tonight I am got to set them up for the rest of the week. Because everything that subsequently is going to take place after tonight is literally about to release access and favor on your life. You are literally about to shift from one place to another. You are literally about to take a quantum leap, a quantum leap into the future. God says tonight is your night to make a quantum leap into the future. I'm getting ready to get out of here. And now I got to close now. But God told me to tell you that on tonight, freedom is hitting your house. God said tonight, everything that you've been praying for is about to hit your house. God said tonight is the night that God's about to move you from struggle to prosperity I don't know if we like to preach that but God said it God said tonight what you've been dealing with in your life is about to be removed God said the trouble is about to be made easy God said the weight the pressure is about to lighten up a little bit. God said this next season of your life is about to be a season of wealth. God said tonight everything that you've been dealing with, I'm about to remove it and help you out. I wonder if I got anybody in here that says God, God I'm ready to go to the next level and I've got to pray I've got to move forward. I cannot allow the enemy to distract me. I cannot allow the enemy to deter me. I cannot allow the enemy to make me fall. God said tonight, the pressure is about to be removed. And you're about to see access like you've never seen it before. I dare you to look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor. Neighbor, huh? with all confidence, huh? say tonight huh? is my night. Huh? Say tonight huh? is my night. Huh? Prophesy to somebody huh? and let them know huh? that what God huh? is about to do in your life huh? is about to increase you huh? in stature. Huh? God said tonight huh? you've been praying for huh? another level of anointing, huh? but God said tonight. Huh? Press. I need you to press. Dig in. I know it's been rough. 
I know it's been tough, but God sent me here to give you a word to let you know that you're right there at the cusp of your miracle. God sent me here tonight to let you know that you're right there at the edge. God said, don't give up. God said, don't throw in the towel. God said, your access is right there. But what I need you to do before I release it is press. Get in the spirit. Come on, y'all. Let's go now. Hey. Hey, God said tonight, you are about to receive a double portion of your miracle. Paul said, I'm not perfect. Paul said, I know I don't have it all together. But God said tonight, you ain't got to have it all together. Don't worry about trying to figure it out. God said tonight, I'm about to increase and give you access. Look at your neighbor for the fourth time tonight and say, neighbor, 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 I'm sorry, I feel like preaching. Neighbor, I am a child of the king and I will not fall. I will not back up. I will not revert. I will not give up, but I will, I will press. If I got to crawl, I'm pressing. If I got to crawl, I'm pressing. If I got to walk, I'm pressing. The weight of the glory seems like it's too much for me to handle. But God said, the more you praise me, I'll lighten the low, and you will be able to carry what I've given you. God said, your purpose is bigger than where you are. God said, where you are has prepared you for more. God said, what you're doing has given you more. God said, you've been waiting, and tonight is your night. I dare you in here to open up your mouth and praise them. Go! Come on, open your mouth and let the Lord know God is ready to go to the next level. Open your mouth and let God know whatever I've got to do, whatever I've got to do, I'm willing. I'm willing to press. I'm willing to go. I'm willing to move. If I got to leave some folks behind, I've got to do it. Them old stale boyfriends, they got to go. Them old stale girlfriends, they got to go. Them friends that gossip too much, they got to go. Them people that don't mean me no good, they got to go because my purpose is more important and I cannot allow the distractions of this world to stop what God is trying to do in my life. And so I'm pressing, and so I'm pressing. Praise them now, go. Come on and open your mouth. Come on and open your mouth. No, 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 no. Come on and open your mouth. Come on and open your mouth. We get ready to get out of here. But before we go, God said tonight, you have been approved for the next level. God said tonight, you've been approved through your worship. You've been approved through your praise. Paul said, I have not attained. I'm not perfect. But this one thing that I will remain to do, I'm pressing. I dare somebody to get out of your seat and start walking and moving forward. Go! Start walking, go! God said 
prophetically while you're walking the weights are falling off God said wow you're walking freedom has hit your house God said whatever you're worried about let it go God said whatever you're worried about let it go some of you can't praise them because you're still holding on to the past but God said I cannot give you access if you're still holding on to one word God said let it go 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 yeah, God said let it go God said to war God said let it go God said I cannot give you access until you let it go that sin that you keep reverting back to God said let it go that weight that you keep reverting back to God said let it go oh no you want to take them forward but God said release it and let it go praise them now go You won't leave it like you came in Jesus' name. We get ready to shift. You won't leave it like you came in Jesus' name. You won't leave it like you came in Jesus' name. Listen, I got two minutes to do this. If you are ready to move to the next level, if you are ready, I'm serious. God said this week, see, Bishop orchestrated this week so spiritually. God said, tonight I need you to unlock and release access. And after tonight, every night, as we move higher and higher, God says, you're going to be closer and closer to what I've already told you was yours. And God said, at the culmination of this week, I feel it. God says, at the culmination of this week, something in your life is about to break. And when it breaks, nothing in your life will be the same. I feel a strong prophetic anointing to pray. So this is what we're going to do really quickly. If you are ready to move to the next level, listen to what I'm saying. The obedience of coming to the altar is not just in the carpet up here. This is a consecrated area. And God says, as you move, it is a sign that you believe that tonight you have just been approved for access to the next level. Real quick, if you are ready to move forward, I need you to come. Now, I'm not going to lay hands on you. I'm not going to do all of that. But God says, tonight, if you are ready to move forward, I need you to come. Hey, I'm moving, I'm moving forward. Hey, hey, God says I'm pressing. God says you got to press tonight. God says you got to press tonight. God said don't be confused by what the enemy is doing in your life. God says what you're doing, what's happening in your life is he feel the atmosphere shifting around you. And he don't know what's literally about to happen, but all he knows is that something is taking place in your life that's getting ready to cause a major shift in your life. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. God says tonight as I pray, as I pray tonight, literally there's getting ready to be change. I see it in the spirit. I know we always say it. It seems like it's a gimmick, Bishop. But God says tonight there's literally about to be weights and chains lifted off of you. Some of you, you're not even sinning. You're just carrying people that you know you ain't supposed to be. God says, I left them a long time ago. When you going to get it? God says, they still playing. You still attached to them. I can't move you because I can't trust you because you're going to try to give them access to where they can't go. As I pray tonight, I got to do this quick. I'm so sorry. I got to do this quick. As I pray tonight, God says the weights in the chain, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, there's about to be a release of access in your life. You're going to try to figure out what is going on. Everything is just lining up. Go call your mom and your mama. That thing I've been praying for for five years, it happened last week. Ah. Lift your hand. When I count to three, I need you at the top of your lungs to shout, press. And when you shout, press, I need you to literally move. I'm not talking about physically, but I'm talking about psychologically. Move from where you are to the next place in your life. See yourself in the future. When I shout, when I count to three, you're going to shout press. And I need you to praise God with the fruit of your lips and the intent of your heart and the abundance of everything in your being. One, two, three, shout press. And God, right now, we thank you. We praise you. We glorify you. We magnify you for what you're doing in their life. God, we thank you for the press. God, we thank you for what you've done. God, we thank you for how you brought them over. But God, now, we thank you for the next level. God, right now, we thank you for increase. God, right now, we thank you for momentum. God, right now, we thank you for the quantum leap. God, right now, we thank you for what you're going to do. We will never be the same. I shall 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 never, 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 never go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on. War, war. I'm pressing, I'm moving, I'm shifting, I'm pressing, I'm moving, I'm shifting. I will never, 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 never be the same. I shall never. I'm 
I'm pressing. Open your mouth. I'm pressing. Open your mouth. I'm tired, but I'm pressing. I'm tired, but I'm pressing. I'm weary, but I'm pressing. I'm pressing. I'm pressing. God said tonight, I'm pressing. God said tonight, I'm pressing. God said tonight, I'm moving. God said tonight, I'm shifting. God said tonight, I need a woman, I need a woman, I need a woman of God. God said tonight, I'm shifting. God said, Open your mouth, open your mouth. Rababa Sandiosa, Rababa Sandio Sata, Yakandio Sata Yamaha. I will never be the same. In the blood of Jesus, I release you. In the blood of Jesus, I cover you. In the blood of Jesus, one thing have I desired, and that have I will dwell, 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 dwell. Open your mouth and praise them. Go. Breakthrough. It's a breakthrough. God just shifted some things in your life. Why don't you just take a moment and just begin to give him glory and praise him right there. Don't wait on nobody else. This is about you. If you know God just shifted something, something just broke, something just changed, have yourself a time in God right where you are. Go ahead on and give God some glory. your hands to the Lord all in this room. Lift your hands to the Lord all in this room. And while those hands are lifted, I want your mouth to open. I don't want you to clap. I want you to lift your hands and begin to bless him while your mouth, while your hands are lifted, let your mouth be open and give God glory. Come on, he's faithful. He's strong. He's mighty. He's a deliverer. Hallelujah. 
Lord, we bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, bless him. That's it. Don't stop yet. Hallelujah. We bless your name, Jesus. with me. That's a prophetic word. And I'll never be the same. Somebody say that with me. I'll never and I'll never be the same. Turn to your neighbor and just say that. And I'll never for you. Leap up out of your seat and run to one person. Don't do it if he didn't touch you, if you don't feel the shift. But if you do, run to one person and tell them, and I'll never be the Something has happened here on tonight. Powerful word. God bless the man of God. Mm. Superintendent Henry Sutton, God bless you. Saw you out there. Bishop Thurston is here with us. Come on and say hi. Sister Lady Jenna. Come on, Lady Jenna. Y'all give her a mic. Give her that mic. And just flow with that. Oh, because being through the storm and the rain, I'll never be the same. Yeah. Come on out, Lady Jenna. Come on. And I'll never, never
told me to come and say hi. Now, after that word, and after my woman, what you want me to say? Look at somebody and say, I'll never be the same. Hi. Let's stand to our feet. us into the press and we will never be the same. I pray that as we go from this place but never from your presence that you would go with us and cover us in your blood. Bind the hand of the enemy. Keep us is my prayer until we come again and if the next time we meet near the feet of Jesus thank God. Amen. Before you leave, I want you to just take a moment and think about the presence of the Lord on you and what that means for you on tonight. And I don't want you to leave here just regular, but I want you to leave here ministering that song in your spirit and let it resonate in your mind. Come on, and I'll never be the same. Come on, every heart, all over the room. 